But that's a believable excuse. I'm like totally fine. Like let's reschedule. When are you free? Told me a schedule and I was like, okay, cool. I'll check mine later when I'm back home. I'm at the gym right now. Like, you know what? Maybe it's a good thing that I have my evening open because I have a lot of work to do on <laughs> the pyramid of dance. So I'm parody musical. Like I had a lot of script edits to do. So I take my ass to this coffee shop near me. Keep in mind it's like three o'clock at this point, so it's really not that busy. But I get my little iced latte with oat milk. I sit at a table and I look up and who the fuck do I see sitting across from me? None other than Sam with another girl. And keep in mind he doesn't even live in this borough. Okay, so like what are the odds that he's just like? At this random coffee shop in Brooklyn when he doesn't even live here. My first thought is, okay, this isn't actually happening and I'm just being to Lulu for the plot, but then I see his hands and I'm like, oh yeah, those hands have served me many a gin and tonic. Actually, my friend's like, what the fuck do I do? Because he's very clearly cut it up on this couch like with this other girl and I've already made eye contact with him about seven times and they're like, you can't really do anything. So I just kind of had to sit there and write Abby Lee Miller's villain monologue like as I'm watching, which maybe that was like good inspo. It was giving Olivia Rodrigo and you're probably with that blonde girl. 